Well, candidates are doing some last minute campaigning while voters are double checking their sample ballots. Tomorrow is Election Day. Now, one of the big races in our area is the battle for seats on Delaware County Council. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance joins us now from media. Shante? Yuki, this is an important election. It's about who takes control of the county's checkbook, and for the first time in history, it could be the Democrats. Democratic and Republican candidate signs line busy roads and residential drives. Eight races will be decided on election day. One of the most anticipated is the race for county council. I believe that it's going to be very historic night. The Republican county council candidates are Kelly Coven, Michael Morgan, and James Wraith. The Democrats running, who are all women, are Christine Ruther, Elaine Schaefer, and Monica Taylor. Three of the five seats are up for grabs. Democrats Kevin Madden and Brian Zydek won their seats in 2017, which was also a first. Now, if just one of the three Democratic candidates win, they will control council for the first time in history. Delaware County Democratic Committee Chair Colleen Guiney says the Republican Party has historically unfairly held a stronghold over residents. I know people who were told if you change your party, you can get constituent services, you can get the volunteer job, you can get the real job, but you've got to register as a Republican. I asked Tom McGarrigal, who is the chair for the Delaware County Republican Party. That's a falsehood that uh, that uh, I think they're going back several, you know, 20, 30 years ago maybe, but uh, it's certainly not the case today. Delaware County Council oversees the hiring and firing of almost 3,200 employees. Traditionally, County Council were all Republicans. Swarthmore College political science professor Ben Berger explains the reason for the change. What's brought it about to the possibility of there being a tipping point is really just demographic change. That professor says there are currently 30,000 more registered Democratic voters than Republicans. Both parties tell me they're confident and optimistic heading into tomorrow's races. Reporting live in media in Delaware County, Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. And Shante, let's remind everyone that the polls open in Pennsylvania at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, and you can vote until 8 p.m. In New Jersey, voters have between 6 a.m. and 8 p.m. to cast their ballots. Delaware does not have a general election tomorrow.